Hi and welcome to my video. This video is about rearranging equations which is roughly around a level 8. Teacher example 1. x over 4x minus 3y equals 3 and we need to make y the subject. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to write out the question over here. So it's x over 4x minus 3 y is equal to 3. I'm going to multiply both sides by 4x minus 3y. This will help me cancel out the denominator which is 4x minus 3y. So multiply 4x minus 3y and on this side we're going to multiply it by 4x minus 3y. Put it in brackets. Okay, So whatever you do to one side you must do to the other side. Now this 4x minus 3y will cancel out with the denominator which is 4x minus 3y and I'm going to expand this bracket so what we're left with is x is equal to 12x minus 9y. Now I'm going to add 9y to both sides. minus 9y plus 9y equals 0. So whatever you do to one side you must do to the other side. So we have x plus 9y equals 12x. I'm then going to subtract 1x from both sides. So what we should have is x minus 1x gives us zero so that cancels out with that and whatever you do to one side you must do to the other side so minus x so we have 9y equals 12x minus x okay going to simplify it further 9y is equal to 11x and then I'm going to divide both sides by 9. So our final answer is y is equal to 11x over 9. Teacher example 2. So we have three open brackets g plus f close brackets over p plus f over p equals g and we need to make p the subject. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the bracket. 3 open brackets g plus f 3 times g 3g 3 times f is 3f over p plus f over p is equal to g. Now what we have so far is p as a common denominator. Therefore it can be rewritten as 3g plus 3f plus f over p equals g. Now I'm going to simplify it further by adding the 3f and the f together. So what we have now is 3g plus 4f over p is equal to g. I'm going to multiply both sides by p, therefore it will cancel the p in the denominator of the first fraction. So multiply both sides by p. So what we have now is 3g plus 4f is equal to gp. Now I'm going to divide g from both sides. So what we have is 3g plus 4f over g is equal to p. I'm going to rewrite it so that the subject is on the left hand side. So p is equal to 3g plus 4f over g. 
And that's our final answer.